Feely out and joined by Memphis head coach Melissa McFerrin. Coach, what a game the end to end tonight in the first round. Your team shot five of seven from beyond the arc in the fourth quarter. Why were the shots falling? Uh, a lot of averages, <laughs> perhaps. We shot 12% in the first half of the game. And um, we just told our players at halftime, we've got to take some open threes. Obviously, we, we like to get the ball inside. We like to dribble penetrate. But, you know, they just weren't going to give us that. So we told Asia Jones and Jada Stinson and Jamira Schutz to let them fly. Because if, if we didn't hit some outside shots, that zone was going to get tighter and tighter. And I really think the Jada Stinson three and then the Asia Jones three, I think that's really kind of what kind of blew the lid off. And um, I think Jamira hit two more after that. But at that point in time, our bench exploded and they were ready to compete. Down 19 points in the fourth game of the day. What was it about this team that allowed them to get back into this game? Well, I think our guards did a really nice job trapping in the second half. Um, I think I thought our defense was really good in the in the second quarter, but in the second half we went a little bit more to a zone press, and I, our guards did a great job of scrambling up, getting traps, getting steals, and giving us a chance to get in transition. First win in the conference tournament in some time since 2015. In your coaching career, where does this moment fall? Well, it's a great comeback with a great group of kids. Um, you know, we've had a season where we've lost a lot of close games. That's not typical for our program. We take pride in winning close games, but we've lost three or four close games really in the last month. And 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 we've kind of been stung over that. So tonight was a night where we could kind of wipe some of that away and get rid of some of that ugliness about losing close games and hopefully take it into tomorrow. How can a win like this take you into tomorrow? Well, you know, we're in the ice tubs right now. We're trying to get our legs ready. Um, we had some tired players out there because they're playing a lot of minutes. But right now, we're going to have to play on a motion tomorrow and make sure that we have our head with us. Thanks, Coach. Good luck. Thank you. I'm now joined by Memphis freshman guard Jamira Schutz. Jamira, how did your team work together in the fourth quarter to outscore Temple 28-12 to to get back into this game? We just had to keep playing, play defense. I think the traps worked well, and with us hustling, I think that's – it was a big key of us taking home the win. At what point in this game did your team realize that you may just be able to get back into this one? Um, I think at the end when Asia Jones, when she um, connected with the three, the whole bench just went up. We just was celebrating, and I think then is when, you know, we thought that we could do it. You're a freshman, first time playing in the postseason. Where does this moment compare to others so far throughout your first year at Memphis? I mean, it's great. I'm learning every day, and the coach believes in me. Even at the end of the game, when I almost, you know, cost us the game, she still believed in me, and I think that's great. How do you expect your team to use this energy from tonight's game to get ready for a quick turnaround tomorrow against Cincinnati? Um, I think we, they will just, just know that we can always come back harder and stronger. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you.